here I am trying to sit by the fire pit, even though my fire doesn't want to start. If anybody knows how to start a fire, please come teach me because I would not survive in the woods. sister is out here and I don't want to creep her out so we're doing pillow fort messages outside in this beautiful woodsy area because I'm on a little trip in my favorite rocket ship so um I am in the mountains with some family so I'm decided to take advantage of that and do our pillow fort messages outside I probably should have started earlier but I was reading um and just you know enjoying the silence so here i am trying to sit by the fire pit even though my fire doesn't want to start if anybody knows how to start a fire please come teach me because i would not survive in the woods um is what i'm learning um but yeah so i started to pull but i um realized that my camera was turned the wrong way so i am I only pulled one card, so I'm just gonna reflect on that for y'all real quick. So what came out <clears throat> was portal, doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild card. Okay, so what I got from that is that um, this week coming for the week of July 25th, uh, the week of July 25th is what we're getting messages for. Uh, this week coming, we are looking at doors opening, right? So I recorded for last week, but I didn't post it. And basically what it was talking about was operating from your identity, right? Being able to um, make decisions, make choices that are in alignment with who you are because you've decided what it is that you want from a place of knowing who you are, right? Um, you are, your steps are ordered and you are moving in order, right? So because of that, as a result of that, we have doors opening that are gonna get you closer to everything that you're after, everything that you're desiring for yourself and your life and the lives around you, right? The lives that are attached to you, connected to you, the people that have the answers that you are walking around with, right? Or that have the questions um, for the answers that you are walking around with. So um, yeah, this week we're looking at doors opening um, for some people, they had a decision to um, to really decide who they are, right? Um, because they wanted to. They had a desire to know who they were, so they had to decide to um, create that definition last week. And so as a result of knowing who you are, right, we said that um, by the end of the week, you would know what it is that you want, whether you were starting the week, <clears throat> knowing what you wanted but not who you were, and therefore felt like things weren't aligned with you or you were starting the week knowing who you were but not what you wanted and therefore felt like things were misaligned with you um, and so by the end of the week we were tasked with fully realizing what it is that we want or at least getting started on that path and so as a result of that we're looking at doors opening for us that are in alignment it says rewards right so this means these are good things that are coming into us these things are in alignment these things are attached to us these things are connected to us and again the people that, that are connected to us right we're looking at not just changing our own lives but the world around us we want to leave the world more beautiful than we found it so that means that the lives around us will be affected as well which is a beautiful thing so we're just looking for <clears throat> more information more clarity on these portals these doors that are opening and the decisions ahead of us for the week of july 25th <laughs> what kind of decisions will we be making someone wants to know what kind of decisions will we be making <clears throat> Okay. 
so we have the three of wands we're taking action right like we said we were, we've been on this path right we've been on creating this plan discovering our identity figuring out what it is that we want and now we have the action step of decision we're going to take action so some of our decisions this week is what move do we make which move are we making um <clears throat> let's see i have the six of swords in reverse um so we're coming out of a stuck position right we have been you see how there's a man standing on the outside and there's a dude in a robe stuck within those um <clears throat> within those swords we kind of switch positions um you would think that you would be the warrior and evil is inside of here but with the six of swords i find that you switched yourself right and you feel trapped and you feel wrong and evil and all that stuff and the you see everyone else or your enemy or anyone else um that is doing things that you want to do or being the kind of person that you want to be or they have the things that you want to have this is how you're looking at it right you have switched you feel trapped and you feel hidden unseen and everyone else around you is a warrior and they're amazing and strong and all that stuff this came out in reverse and so now we're seeing ourselves as we are right we're seeing our own power we're seeing our own strength our own ability to fight and triumph over even our own mindset even our own perspective we're allowing ourselves to see beyond um, the ways in which we have before so some of us are deciding to shift our mindset to shift our perspective right that's the action that we're going to be taking that's the decision that we have to make are you going to keep looking at yourself as less than are you going to keep looking at yourself as hidden or um, not enough or um, comparing yourself to other people because that comparison is what keeps you trapped right See yourself as the warrior that you are. See yourself as the journeyman that you are. You are on this journey for a reason. And I know we get caught up in that destination just because of the society that we live in. I think if things were different, we wouldn't care all that much about the outcome. We would appreciate the journey more, but because so much of our circumstances predicated on where we are in that journey, we get very hyper-focused on the outcome, right? So it's difficult to, um, to navigate and we have earthed right here right that was back at the deck for our first pull and it says being learning how to be human in the world but not of it so while we're in this world it's very difficult not to feel um to not succumb to the ways of the world and feel like okay we have to accomplish this we have to do this we have to be that have this all these things um trying to fit in trying to be a part of this world but we also understand that we're here on spiritual assignment as well right and so we're looking for ways to do both and I believe it's possible that's what I desire to do for my life so that's what I'm reaching for that's what I'm trying for and anything that I do is in service to that goal but it ain't easy right it's not something that is simple and it's definitely not something I feel has been laid out um, very clearly it's it's a journey uh, a balance that we have to reach on our own um so it's difficult not to compare i understand trust me i understand but <laughs> it is part of our journey it's part of the process it's learning how to be in the world but not of it or knowing that we are in the world but not of it we're learning how to be human and the last card that came out was our high priestess the queen that she is so here she sits in front of the veil um that she guards and so some of us have a decision to um unleash secrets unlock secrets so we're looking at um you're having secrets to unveil are you going to release i'm hearing who you are who you really are um some people are hiding parts of themselves and not being fully themselves 
um, even though you've declared who it is that you want and you or who it is that you are and you know that part of what you desire requires you to be your full self um, you have to decide if you're going to do that now or be forced later um, is it going to be your own choice or are you going to have to have a tower moment in order for you to progress in order for you to move forward um, revealing secrets from behind the veil revealing secrets let's see <clears throat> um <clears throat> tell me more about this high priestess tell me more about this high priestess for the week of july 25th Oi, oi, oi. Star card. Hopeful is part of your hopes and your desires, whatever this secret is that you're being asked to reveal. <clears throat> Some of you, it's just your messages, right? You've been getting downloads, you've been f feeling like you're called to do something bigger, to share your words, your gifts, your talents, your skills, um, your knowledge that you've been acquiring over the years so for some of you it's just time to release those messages mm. yeah so we got the tower <clears throat> and came out in reverse so yeah somebody's gonna have to choose their tower moment it feels heavy it feels like you're um unearthing everything that you have um created everything that you've built up um this whole town is being flooded right in this tower everything that you've built everything you've created is um going to be unearthed knocked over torn down but you can either choose for it to happen and this coming out in reverse is telling me that someone is being tasked with choosing it right um or you can let life do it to you to, for you <laughs> um i myself um basically started a whole career from scratch right I was a hairstylist at one point I did not go to cosmetology school I actually found out about apprenticeship here in Virginia so I guess I'm not here in Virginia but in Virginia you can get your cosmetology license through apprenticeship it takes a little longer but you don't have to pay any money um, you actually get paid while you're doing it and so that was the choice that I made in order to acquire my cosmetology license I found a salon that was already within the apprenticeship program there were several steps I took before actually ever getting to that point but um, it, just to get this license right and the license itself for me was a means to an end but it turned out to be the career that sustained me for seven years so um, I'm very happy to have built that up and it was something that I thought was going to be my forever essentially or at least for a very long time until I could I was established enough to you know try something else um, after again seven years I was called to quit and leave it all behind um, and I ended up doing it and every there are many a times where I feel like did I make the right decision because my life is completely different than the trajectory I was on um, I made a lot of goals based on that trajectory um, all of them again like we said in the weeks prior were tied to my identity the person that I know who I am um, they were tied to <clears throat> you know all the things that I want and the feelings that I'm going after as far as what I want so losing the career feels like a setback in that I don't have the financial means to get to where I want to be, but I don't feel like I lost any of the dream, any of the vision as a result of losing this career because it's still attached to me, right? I'm still going forward. I'm still moving towards it. So um, yes, it feels like everything that I built as far as that career goes got shut down and knocked down and unearthed and completely decimated right and I am reminded of that and I feel that feeling I mourn that loss quite often or not often but often enough right um, <clears throat> but I know that I can still accomplish the things that I want to accomplish I know that I can still press forward and be everything that I'm called to be even though I had to choose 
that tower moment for myself, right? I wasn't fired, I wasn't let go, or nothing happened to the salon. I actually ended up quitting just before COVID and everything. So it wasn't um, even attached to a pandemic that I had to take a break for a couple of months. Like this was completely my own decision um, based on the messages and the downloads that I got. And I made it and you know, it is what it is, right? I am happier um, because it was a stressful place to be, but <clears throat> as far as getting to where it is that I want to get to or doing the things that I want to do, I'm not there yet, but I believe that I will be. So for some of you, this week is requiring you to choose a tower moment for yourself. And I don't know if that's quitting a job. I don't know if that's revealing something about your personal life. I don't know if that's, again, sharing those messages and downloads that you're getting with the people that are connected to you but either way somebody is being asked to completely upend an aspect of their life some of you are leaving relationships some of you are ending friendships um some of you are changing careers <clears throat> um or it, maybe it's a habit a way of life some of you have um become addicted or obsessed with dieting or exercise um, you may be um, trigger warning anorexic or bulimic I have some kind of eating disorder or body dysmorphia you're being asked to shift your perspective again we talked about that shift your perspective to something that lets you see yourself as enough that lets you um, and it's going to feel like your whole world is upended it's going to feel like your whole world is um, being ruined because you're being asked to do things out of your norm <clears throat> you're being asked to um, change things that you've been doing for years um, but it's for your benefit it's for your good it's for your for your journey for your legacy for you those doors to open um, you are opening the door right you have to be the one to turn the knob the door is there it appears that portal appears but you have to be the one to turn the knob <clears throat> or enter the code or put in the key or whatever and those decisions the unveiling the shift in perspective the action step that is you uh, unlocking those doors we're um hey empress i was thinking about you girl we are talking about i'm trying to get them to come out but i guess i'm not let's see do we have any more messages for the week of july 25th Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Um, so yeah, it just that feels like, you know, it's not this week may not be fun. It started off real light and beautiful. We have doors are opening, rewards, you know, you decide, wild card, anything is possible. But um it got real heavy. You're going to have a tough decision to make, it feels like. It's going to be a hard decision, a, a, a world-changing decision. But you, this is bigger than you, right? So you are here on Earth, not because um, everything you're doing is here on Earth. You're here on assignment. So you have to operate within the ways of this Earth within the ways of the society that you're in you have to operate within your circumstance and your experience but it's not because you are from here or 
because that is the only um, those are the only tools that you have to work with right so within your circumstance there is a decision that you have to make that is going to shift your entire world your physical material world here as well as your spiritual world revealing something about yourself feels like your whole world is going to change um, you think it's for the negative and it may look that way in this material world right you might lose friends you might lose an, uh, what you think is an opportunity your family might feel a way about you as a result of the, this revelation but in your spiritual world and, and in this world it is a reward the decision that you make is for your benefit is going to change your life right the action that you take is going to change your life these doors are opening for your benefit okay it's not a punishment i know it's gonna feel like it is oh God. it's not a punishment you are safe you are protected you're being asked to do this at this time for a reason it's uncomfortable <clears throat> we have the seven of pentacles work smarter not harder is what i see here work smarter not harder okay um work with your guides work with um those around you don't try to operate within your own strength you know just tire yourself out so you're getting this messaging now because yeah they're handing it over to you right these downloads are coming in from those that came before you they're letting you know exactly how to get it done how to shift it <clears throat> how to shift the energy into your favor we had a lot of momentum pressing for pressing behind us last week and so this week that momentum has just completely pushed our sails into the direction that we wanted to go in and as a result um the world is shifting around us doors are opening um so that we can just like it's like a like a secret tunnel a secret passageway right is what i'm seeing so you're going through what about in those video games when you have the triangles going forward it's like a zoom thing i think i said that last week too but kind of zooming you through whatever circumstance you're in right now and you think this is going to be my forever at times right and so um, when you go through this portal you come out on the other side in a different place um, so you can choose to walk the long road walk the path that you seen before they're staying on the grass or he stayed on the grass and he walked all the way around this river all the way around this mountain right in order to get to the same place that they are they're running chilling using the water as their you know um moving sidewalk right isn't that what it's called in the airport using the water as their moving sidewalk and running so it's just like hyper speed that they're moving at and they don't look tired where meanwhile he is like exhausted laid out on this rock <clears throat> so we have work with your folks work with your people because they're behind you helping you wanting you to grow and move forward and they're trying to let you know that and then the last thing that came out was this eight of swords so again some of you feel trapped in um you know sorry the wind i mean i'm not apologizing for the wind she's beautiful but okay some of you feel trapped in um, a cage of your own making, right? You've put yourself in this position. Again, whenever I see this image, I'm looking at the two being different. So this is you, angry and upset and feeling like you are ugly and hideous and can't be seen and you want to attack any and everyone that comes after you because you feel trapped beyond this. And this is maybe your higher self that's coming to save you. Maybe it saw you at first and thought you were the enemy try to take you out and then realize that you are the same 
and so now they're trying to save you and explain to you hey you don't have to stay back there you can come around i can move these out of your way and you can come through whatever it is that you want to do but you're not trapped you're not stuck there you have options and one of your options this week is to reveal something about yourself reveal some kind of secret reveal to yourself who you really are what do you have the resolve to accomplish and, and show and prove to yourself are you that person that you're calling that you feel called to be can you um do what that version of you requires in order to become it in order to walk through that door can you turn that knob can you ask that question can you make that decision can you tell that story can you share that secret can you speak at that volume can you say those words didn't show we got knight of pentacles as the bottom deck energy um letting us know we have messages coming in about our material world this is something i feel like it applies to the material but it is for the benefit of the spirit um and the material really Let's see what Lil Homie wants us to know about the week of July 25th. If I could pick it up. You know what you want. Okay, so at the end of last week, didn't we say that that would be the goal? And so you know what it is that you want. And um, that's good. You know what it is that you want, so that's what you're walking in service to. And as long as you keep that in mind, as long as you maintain that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding of who you are and what you want, this decision, it's not going to be as difficult as you as you think it is. It's actually going to be an easy decision. You just have to make it. Um, and so the bottom of the deck says, who told you? that was truth which speaks to those of us that are feeling trapped right who told you you weren't enough who told you that you were less than who told you that that person was better than you who told you that they were taking your spot who told you that your family wouldn't approve who told you that that would be the end of the relationship who told you that you wouldn't find anyone else after that who told you that you wouldn't make any new friends who told you that you weren't good enough, you didn't have enough, you wouldn't be enough, you couldn't amount to enough. Who told you that? Who told you that was true? Ask yourself these questions. Help yourself shift that perspective. Shift that perspective, okay? Don't let yourself remain stuck in that mindset, in that position to allow you to believe that this is heartbreaking, that this is the end of your journey, that this is a, a tower moment that you cannot overcome, right? That this is something that you can't do on your own, right? Don't let that be your story. You have a decision to make, right? You have action steps to take. You're not doing it alone. You're not doing it in your own power. Right? You're getting those answers from somewhere. You're getting that help and support and guidance from somewhere. It's not happening on your own. Okay? Make that decision. Reveal those secrets because you know what you want. You know what you want. So make that decision. It's for your benefit. Okay? These doors are opening for your benefit. Rewards are on the other side of it. It's not just for play play. This is real life. And it's happening. <laughs> I love you, and I hope you have a beautiful week. Thank you. Bye.